Hey what is up everyone this is Abhishek from Motion Nations and welcome back to another exciting After Effects tutorial in this video we will be learning how to create some 3D isometric cell phone animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin so you can use this technique to create and animate whatever 3D object you want i am using cell phone just as an example to show you guys so before i jump right into After Effects i want you to please subscribe to my channel and please support me on patreon.com the link is in the description below all right now i am in after effects and like i said you guys can create this animation in after effects without using any third party plugin which is true but however i am going to use my 3d extruder script which is completely free you can download the script from the link in the description below uh, it is very handy to create some 3d objects and then animate it in after effects so you can download it from the description below and in case you guys don't want to use this script you can watch this tutorial of mine in which i have showed how to create some 3d object in after effects and you can follow up that tutorial and after that you can skip to this one to learn how to create this animation so let's begin by creating a new composition let's call this phone and make sure the width and height are 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration 10 seconds just click on ok and after that let's create the rectangle by using the rounded rectangle tool so let's just draw any shape and after that let's go to the rectangle and under the rectangle path you can change the roundness to something like 45 and maybe we can uncheck these parameters and we can play around with the values so let's go with 375 and 660 so that we have this nice rectangular shape and let's just place it in the center of this composition something like this and after that let's apply fill effect to it so that we can change its color later on so just go to the effects and presets panel and type fill just drop it on top of it and let's just quickly change its color to something like white or maybe a little bit off white something like this just click on ok and after that let's rename it first so let's call this space and let's just create another composition but before that let's just do one more thing let's duplicate this space layer so let's rename it screen and we can maybe right click then go to pre-compose and you can just rename it to screen just click on ok and after that if i go into this composition here you can see that we have the composition but its size is 1920 by 1080 so if you remember that we choose the size of the screen to be 375 by 660 and here you can see that we have the full screen so let's just quickly do one more thing and we can maybe delete this screen and select the rectangle tool and if i double click on it here you can see that we have the full screen of the length and let's apply fill effect we do not need to change its color because we are going to replace it later on so let's just quickly select the screen and if i press s on the keyboard for scale i can easily scale it down something like this so let's just quickly drag it something around here and you can maybe play around with its value so before placing the screen let's create other elements so let's create the home button so select the ellipse tool and over here we will create some ellipse or circles something like this and let's place it in the center of this composition something like this and we can maybe play around with its position so i think this looks good we can maybe apply gradient ramp to it so just simply search for gradient ramp and just drag it on top of it you can maybe change its value to radial and if i play back play around with the these points you can see that we have this really nice gradient effect going on and after that let's create the top speaker and the camera so let's select the rounded rectangle tool once again and you can zoom in a little bit so just quickly draw a shape something like this and after that select the ellipse tool so now we are going to create the camera so just draw a circle while holding down the shift key so that it's of complete proportion and once the circle is drawn you can maybe use the arrow keys to position it something like this and make sure it's aligned with the with this 
speaker so let's quickly do that and you can maybe move around over here now just duplicate it by pressing ctrl d and we can scale the lower one little bit bigger something like this and let's apply fill effect to both of these layers so just search for fill effect and just drag it on top of it and you can maybe change its color to something like dark gray like this and maybe we can lower down the size of this one something like this so here you can see that we have the basic look of the phone ready so if i go back into the screen here we can apply any gradient or whatever you want so just type gradient ramp and we are going to change its color to something like this really nice gradient so over here we can maybe change the color for the base layer to something like this maybe okay this looks good and now let's animate it by creating a new null so so just simply go to layer new and then click on null or you can use my quick new script which is again free and you can download it from the link in the description below and just quickly parent all of these layers to the null and we are going to animate the null so let's press s on the keyboard for scale and r for rotation and if i press u on the keyboard it will show both of the keyframes so let's just move them something around here and in the beginning we want the rotation to be something like 45 degree or maybe negative 45 so let's just simply play around with the values and if i select press f9 on the keyboard to easy ease them then you can play around with the graph so i think if i play back here you can see that we have this kind of animation maybe we can tweak the graph a little bit more so here you go just bring the keyframes a little bit closer so that we have a little bit faster animation so if I play back here you can see that we have the mobile phone animation going on also let's do one more thing we are going to now animate the screen so let's just press s on the keyboard and then add a keyframe for screen and in the beginning we want the y value not the x the just the y value to be zero so let's just select both of these keyframes press f9 and then we can play around with the curves something like this so let's just move the point in the beginning or maybe a little bit ahead something like this so over here you can see that the phone animation starts and after that the screen animation happens so this is looking nice and maybe we can play around with the lower color of the screen so let's just make it little bit off white so that we can see the bottom of the screen so right now we have the basic animation for the phone ready so our next step is to create the 3d isometric projection of it so let's create a new composition and let's make sure the width and height are 1920 by 1080 we are going to rename it to main and if i click on ok now let's drag the phone composition over here and you can see that we have the phone animation going on so our next step is to extrude the phone so just simply select the phone layer and then click on this extrude button but before that you can play around with the depth value so you can choose whatever depth value you want just don't go too crazy with it like something like 50 or 60 because it will slow down your system just simply go with something like between 5 to 15 so i'm going with 15 just simply click on extrude and here you can see that we have the 3d depth layer and also a null which is controlling this one so i can rotate the phone by pressing the r key and i can rotate the null so here you can see that it is a 3d object and now let's create a camera for the 3d projection but before that let's create a solid background so let's go to new solid and just simply place it below all of these layers and we are going to apply the gradient ramp on this so let's change the ramp color to something like this and maybe we can lower the make the lower color something like this so this looks good for now and let's create new camera so you can choose whatever camera you want just simply create another null 
and you can parent the camera to the null object also make sure the null object is 3d so we are going to change few parameters on the null and the camera in order to create the 3d projection i learned this technique from workbench so huge shout out to them uh, this is really nice technique to create some 3d perspective so let's do that by simply pressing the p key over here you can see that we have the z position so set it to something like negative 500,000 so that we have the object is really small and at the same time we are going to zoom in so let's go to camera option over here you can see that we have the zoom so set its value to 500,000 so that it, it will cancel out any kind of perspective that we have and over here you can see that we have come back to the original position now let's go to the null and you can press r on the keyboard for rotation and over here we are going to type few values so set the y rotation to something like 45 degree and the sorry the x rotation and the y rotation to be something like 32.6 and the z rotation to something like 30 degree so over here you can see that we have the isometric projection of the camera and if i play back here you can see that the animation is going on maybe if it's too slow you can go to the preview window and you can change the resolution to quarters so if i play back here you can see that the animation is happening maybe we can do one more thing we can add some drop shadow to it so let's search for drop shadow effect and just simply apply it on this layer and you can play around with the parameters of these so let's select the softness to something like 50 and then the opacity to 5% maybe distance to 0 and over here you can see that we have some really nice shadow in the base maybe we can disable these null so that we we cannot see them in the viewport and if i play back here you can see that we have this really nice mobile phone animation also in case you want to rotate the smartphone in some other direction you can easily do that by going selecting this phone layer and if you go to the transform rotation and or simply press the r key for rotation over here you can see that we have the x y and z rotation so just simply select these and you can change it to whatever you want so if i set it to 90 you can see that we have a different look and if i set this one to 90 you can see that now again we have a different look so in the same way you can play around with all of these values to change and give some really nice 3d perspective to it so this is completely up to you however you want to use and i think this projection looks good so let's just set it to zero and maybe let's set it to 90 so this is the projection and if i play back here you can see that we have this isometric mobile phone animation in after effects also you can do one more thing you can add your screen over here so if i want to preview a video in the smartphone or any image i can simply drag the image in after effects and if i go into the screen composition over here i can simply drag our image or whatever video file you want just simply scale it down so that it fits into the screen over here and if i go back into the main composition over here you can see that our screen is now completely fitted into the smartphone so in this way you can animate the smartphone and use whatever content you want and it can be displayed in the screen of the smartphone so that's how you guys can create some really nice 3d isometric projection in after effects without using any third party plugin so you can use this technique to animate whatever 3d object you want so i'm using this smartphone just as an example so you can create whatever laptop or 3d screen or anything you want so this is how you guys can do it and if you guys have any query or questions you can ask in the comments below so that's it for this video this is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one